Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about subfile. So mainly in this session, what we will do, we will design one subfile, and in the upcoming session, we will create another RPG program that will use that subfile. Okay. So first of all, I will show you the output of my program. Like here, I have created two uh, things. Like first is the display. Play file which contains my sub file and another is the RPG program through which I am accessing that display file or sub file. Okay, so first of all, I will show you the output. I'm calling this program. So this is how sub file looks like. So here mainly we can say that uh, sub file is divided in three parts, where the first part is the header portion. So this is the header portion of my sub file. Below to that, this is my data part or buffer part of my sub file. And in the end, this is my footer part of the subfile. Okay, so mainly we can see that uh, we can say that that subfile contains three part: header portion, buffer portion, and footer portion. Okay, so now we will see how we can design this subfile. So first of all, you what you need to do, you have to take F6 to create the member. Now here you can write uh, any name. So. I'm giving test. Then here uh, in the source member name, you have to write the DSPF. Just hit enter. Now uh, keep this file as a blank and just save it. So I will save it with the command file. Now, what you need to do, you have to go on this uh, op member and just take option 70. Okay, so this is how we came into this screen where we can work with the display records. Now we will create the record. So mainly for subfile, we will create three records. Let's see one by one. So firstly, take option one here and put the record name. So let's say my record name is SFL for subfile and hit enter. So here in the type, you have to select the SFL that is for subfile. So I will select it. So just okay so this is my record name and this is my record type so in this case uh, i am using it same like sfl and sfl otherwise you can write any name like sfl1 or we can make it as a sfl1 okay so then hit enter now it will ask us for the subfile control records so i will put my control record name as sfl ctl1 just hit enter hit enter hit enter so this is how the two records is created where first one is the sfl that is buffer part where we will store the buffer information and below to that we have control part that contains the header portion okay now we will create one more uh, that is footer so for footer i will write footer hit enter and keep it as a record just hit enter now to design the footer what i will do i will directly write right here f3 equals to exit okay so this is our footer is designed now mainly we will see the subfile portion so to set like uh, we have created the two records that is for uh, sfl buffer portion and control for header portion now we have to set some param uh, indicators for these subfile so let's see how we can do that so just take option 8 on sfl ctl1 hit enter then take all wise or you can take selective white but i am taking why all okay so here we can see that sfl1 has one uh, control format okay that is sfl ctl1 so here we will assign some indicator name so usually i go with in that way like here i will put as 91 and for sfl and i will put 90 and here i will put 92 and 93 you can put any number but uh, i'm using these numbers generally so i'm uh, so that's why i have put 90 91 92 93 then you have to select this as a y and here you have to put y so these are the basic thing that is mandatory for the subfile design like these two values are not mandatory but these three are very mandatory okay so we will see in the upcoming session when we create the rpg program like how we can use these indicators and how we will turn on and turn off these indicator okay so for now i'm just keeping it as a uh, simple just we are putting the values then hit enter 
and here we have to specify the uh, records and sub files so maximum allowed is tetra 9 so i will set as a maximum so it is the number of records we can display through the sub file is tetra 9 this is the maximum value and below to that we have to put how many records will be displayed on per page so i'm setting it as a 10 okay now just hit enter for the other remaining part and one more thing we need to set for footer is just take option 8 go to overlay select it make it as a y and just hit enter why we do this because we want to overlay this footer on my sub file so that's why i have set this as a overlay so this is how we design the sub file now what is header portion how we will define a header portion so to define the header portion just take 12 and here you can directly write some text and something like for now i am writing it as a texture myth okay so here you can write option when employee id whatever you want to keep as a header you can write in here so mainly this portion like until or unless we have started the buffer portion all the po portion is considered as a header portion okay but once we started the buffer por portion then it uh, we will not write any values uh, as a header okay so here we can uh, write the now we will see the for the buffer so take option on sfl so this is my buffer here now i will start it from here from this position so how we can keep the values or records so just write uh, firstly we will see what the string so write plus then i i is for input mode and let's say we will make it as a four okay so this is plus plus after plus you have to write i for input mode input mode of string and then four that is length so just hit enter so as we have marked uh, as we have set the number of display per record as a 10 so it is showing as a 10 now we will see another input way like you can write it as an input and now we will create the output mode so similarly this is output mode and we have both mode where we can display as well as we can take the input so this is both mode okay so these three for the string and now we will see for the numeric value so three is for input like we have i similarly we have three for numeric values as an input then we have six for output mode and nine for both mode okay so this is both mode so these values are for string purpose and these values are for uh, values uh, like for numeric values okay so this uh, this is how we can design the sub file for the fields and if you want to shift it from right side so just put angular bracket hit enter it will go right side okay so this is how you can arrange these values so now we have designed the header and uh, control part now for footer we have already designed so here we have set up the footer and if you want to change the color just write c and b so it will change the color okay so that's how we can make use of a uh, footer now we will see so this is how mainly we can uh, design a sub file from scratch now i will show you one my sub one of my sub file that i have already created and for the same we will create one uh, rpg program in upcoming session so this is how my sub file look like so i will take option 17 and this is how it looks like so firstly we will see the header portion so i'm taking 12 so this is the header portion of my sub file so you can design it like in this way so what i am doing here this is just a normal text and if you want to change the color of text so what will you do you will put cursor on just prior to the text put asterisk hit enter and here you can write y just hit enter so from here you can directly put one whatever color you want to select for your text okay so right now i have set it as a white and another shortcut for changing the color is if you want to change the color then write cb so once i hit cb so it will change to blue color okay and if you want to change it again then go put asterisk and then select y and change the color okay so 
here also have defined some fields that is user name program name and date so firstly i will show you the how we will define these user fields so for the user field what you have to do you have to just write asterisk and just write user hit enter so it will create user field now if i want to delete this field so i will directly put d here hit enter so it will delete it similarly we have we can go for date field user then date and if you want to shift it from right side just put angular bracket and hit enter so it is shifted if similarly if you want to go left side put the d symbols and hit enter okay for deleting just put d and hit enter now we will see for time so for time it is star time so this is how time looks okay and this is the field that i have created as i showed previously like how we can take output field so for output field i will put for plus then o and then the length so let's say i want to create 10 length okay so this is how we put the length now once the field is defined we have to give name to that field so let's say this is my output field so i will put question mark here hit enter so this is the name of my file uh, this field so by default it is different but i have set uh, i have changed it to s1 pgm name because i am going to store my program name here okay so likewise we have to set the uh, these field name accordingly okay and these are the default values so we don't need to assign any field name to these fields like for user date and time so this is all about header portion so this is also as a text like if you want to write any text so just put quote then text put close and hit enter so it, this is now here and if you want to move it from some other place so just put hyphen then hyphen and just put equal where wherever you want to shift this text hit enter okay and if for deleting just put t so this is how we design the header portion okay now quickly we will see for uh, for the control portion so for control portion i have declared the same fields as we see in the previous way like i is for input six is for uh, output mode for numeric values this is for uh, the input values and this is for the output values because o and o okay and then once these field is declared we have to assign some names so just put question mark here once you put question mark it will show Take uh, 12. We have to go in the buffer portion because this is the buffer portion. Now put question mark here. So this is how we can assign the field name. Okay. So we have to assign the field name. And similarly, I have assigned field name to the all the fields that I have declared. So this is how our buffer part looks. And for footer, this is like here i have only write one label that is f3 for exit so this is how we design the sub file so mainly we have three part first part is the header part where we will keep all those header details text details labels okay and another is the buffer portion where we keep the all fields like if you want to shift this field you can directly put this sign angular bracket and move it wherever you want to move then assign the field name because when we create the program we will use this name and through this name we can populate some values here and the third part is footer we where we will keep the uh, text or labels for the footer portion okay so if you want to put any other text so that you can directly write f12 equals to cancel just hit enter for changing color put c and b so it will change otherwise you can take a stick and change the color okay so yeah so mainly we have discussed and we see like how we can design the sub file and this is how my final sub file look like and now we will see in the next program how we can populate these data and access this sub file so that's all for this session we'll co continue this session in upcoming session so thank you for watching tech Shenmue.